I see you. Could it possibly be that yesterday you took my keys? Uh, yeah, well... If the pharaoh finds out, he's going to go bananas. Dad, I've got worse things to worry about. I've been cursed by a mummy, and only the pharaoh can uncurse me. A mummy's curse? It's time that you grow up. You just want to sneak out of your punishment, but that won't help you. You're grounded for a week. An entire week? Dad, I might have just a few more hours to live. I don't want to hear any more excuses. This is pointless. Damn it! In a few hours, the curse is going to send me off into the netherworld. And the pharaoh is the only one who can lift curses. But if I walk through that door, my father will definitely do worse. How do I get out of this situation? Good shot, Black Eye. You go first. Me? Now you go first. Hey, this is my chance to escape. Today must be my lucky day after all. There's a silver coin inside. That could be useful. Hey! The vase has unjammed the mechanism. I'll take the clothes hanger too. I can use this as a rope. Freedom, here I come. Woohoo! Don't worry, Black Eye. I don't think that any danger awaits us inside. Ah! Maybe I was wrong. Um, uh, excuse me, uh, what exactly is going on in there? I think you shouldn't go in there if you value your life. But we're fierce mercenaries after all. Right, just got our diploma yesterday. Well then, at least we're going to take care of you. Sounds like a nice warm-up. Who was desperate enough to hire you two clowns? It was the Pharaoh. Psst. Mine. But if we're going to kill him anyway... Mm. Do we have to? What do I have to do to get rid of you? Get rid of us? <laughs> but we're the ones who want to get rid of you. But I think we can make a little exception if you'd agree to pay a small price in exchange for your life. Let's say 20,000 silver coins. How does that sound? Uh, I only have one silver coin. Well, it's not much. We're about to start. Thanks again, and have a nice day. We've got some business to take care of. What have I done? I have to get my silver coin back. I don't feel good with him around. You again! Hey, give me my silver coin back! Now why? Now we can finally get something to eat! Uh, but if we go, the architect might run away, don't you think? Oh, right. Oh, what a sticky situation. How can we be in two places at one time? How about the famous Kala Couscous? Kala Couscous always burns the couscous. I'd sooner starve than eat that. Hey! I could grab you guys something to eat. Oh, you'd do that? But I'd need to have my silver coin back for that. Oh, of course. Yeah, so you can take off with it. First the job, then the dough. That's the way it works with assassins. Okay, I'll see what I can rustle up. Fine. 
Now go. There it is, up there. The Pharaoh's Palace. That's where I have to go. The Lion's Den would be quite fitting right now. The Lion's Den would be quite fitting right now. Welcome, young man. Welcome to the Great Bazaar. If you ever need some help, just come to me. Where can I get a tasty meal? At the lower market, to the right of the big plaza. You can get fish burgers. They're pretty okay-ish. And if you like wine, it's sold at the stairs leading to the plaza. Can you tell me how to get to the palace? Just go through the bazaar and then take a left. Can you tell me how to get to the pharaoh? To the pharaoh? I don't think that these snobby guards are going to let you pass. They act the big shot all the time. But lately, we saw them running. Running like rabbits all over the place. So even they seem to be afraid of something. How can I leave Cairo? There's a little ferry down by the Nile. But first, you should know where you want to go. You shouldn't simply trust the ferryman. Well, that's my opinion. Thanks a lot. Maybe I'll come back later. Oh, no problem, my friend. Good morning, Asil. Nice of you to drop by. Wow, what happened to your hand? It's a really awesome tattoo. That happened in the pyramids yesterday. Don't you remember? Yeah, there was a lot going on yesterday. Yeah, but the chicks are gonna be all over you, man. Well, just for a little while at least. Your unending sympathy comforts me somehow. Oh, quit whining. My grandfather supposedly beat 27 curses. Oh yeah? And how did your grandfather deal with it? Well, he jumped off the palace wall with his one remaining leg. Maybe it was just an accident. He had gone blind by that time. Gone blind? But the blindness curse had its good side. He didn't have to see his seeping sores anymore. Can you help me get rid of this curse? Help you? Wait a minute, that would mean try to get into the palace, probably mess with the pharaoh, and after that, most likely trouble with the gods. Hmm, let me think about it a minute. No thanks, and I mean that as a friend, of course. Besides, I can't take off from here anyway. My sick father's business would be ruined. Do you want to buy something? What do you have? Well, I have cured rattlesnake meat from Abu Simbel, or these really cool Cleopatra shower curtain rings, and brand new Sphinx hedge trimmers. I'll take the hedge trimmers. Oh, wait, we just sold out of that one. I always wanted some shower curtain rings. Just a sec. Oh, I think they're all spoken for. Cured rattlesnake meat? Why not? Hmm, now that I look at it, it seems to have gone bad. No wonder your business is going under. Okay, I haven't offered you any of the really good stuff, like the treasure map, because you don't have any money anyway. A treasure map? It leads to the greatest treasure in the desert, 
But unfortunately, I can't really sell it. Why not? Because it's so valuable, you would have to give me a pile of gold for it. No problem. I'll scrape together the money somehow. Okay, I won't hold my breath. young man have we met before may I help you across the street but I don't want to cross the street at all I'm just doing some shopping hello young man have we met before I'm your long-lost heir. Guy Albrusha? But he went to sea and never came back. And none of my family would wear a bottle opener as a necklace. Can he see anything with that oh, device in front there, of his eyes? Oh, hello pretty girl. Let's see what I can do for you. How about a charming summer dress? Or maybe something rustic? I also have underwear in stock. Panties, bras in all sizes. I even have a dressing room. There's one that would fit you just perfectly. Stop! What? I'm not a girl, Dodo Brains. No kidding! No. Damn it! And I thought the Pharaoh's optician had found the right glasses for me. Please forgive me, and I won't call you girl anymore. How about lady? But I don't see any clothes, just cloth. Unfortunately, something bad already happened yesterday. I went over to the fruit stand to buy a few yummy melons. And suddenly, as I was checking the melons, well, it, it turned out... <laughs> They weren't melons at all. They were, you know, uh, they were the market woman's, um... Well, anyway, my cheek hurt for hours. You should go to the optician before something really bad happens to you. Hmm. Yeah, my tailoring business is in a crisis right now. Either I've started to lose some of my tailoring talents, or my scissors are garbage. So, what's wrong with your scissors, then? Uh, honestly, I think they're dull. I need to have them sharpened again. Exactly. That's my job. That's great. Here are the scissors. When I could still see things, I would walk down to the Nile to sharpen my tools. Last crocodile handbag sold. And? Are my scissors sharp again? You could ride to Baghdad on him. What a pity. Smells a bit rotten. Rather not. I'm not so much into rotten fruit.
What can I do for you? What are you selling? Wine. Two silver pieces per bottle. See you. Don't try anything stupid. Hey, take your hands off me, gorilla. What's going on over there? Did you see the game at all? I fell asleep during the second half. Inside the arena? Well, you know, you're the joking, are right? Sitting behind the stadium. And how can you see the game then? Al Ratchib. Hey, buddy, looking for a real for bargain? How much does this slave cost? Hmm, for you, just 300 silver pieces. 300? For this slave? That's highway robbery! But he's a real first-class slave! He can read, write, and even swim! He learned how to swim in that strange place he's from. I can't even remember the name. Humans have no price. Go and tell the pharaoh then! <laughs> he doesn't seem to see it that way. How can I meet the pharaoh? You won't have much luck with that. Only really rich aristocrats get invited to the pharaoh's parties, or jesters, when he's bored. But he doesn't have a very good sense of humor, and his lions are always hungry. And now you'll have to excuse me, I have a business to run. El Machob. And keeps us updated on the game. But I saw Dal Rocky Blast. You're week. joking, right? How can that one tell anything anymore? Probably for the slave's well, chains. that's the problem indeed. Do you want to buy me? I'm a first-class slave. My son is going to be the great Ben-Hur. Hang on. Ben-Hur? How do you know? You know, that's a long story. Okay then, tell it. Actually, I don't come from Egypt at all. I ended up here on accident. A few aliens brought me here after a short trip to Rome. Come on. I actually lived in a small village close to Kingston upon Hull. I learned how to swim and dive there. Well, in 1976, a few aliens abducted me from the Andromeda Nebula. We traveled through the entire galaxy together. We had a great time. Django, the boys and I had a lot of fun in the Star Cruiser. Until they beamed me down to good old Earth. Django? Unfortunately, they didn't hit my correct time. Django had a few beers. You know how it is. Goodbyes, complex technology, and yesterday's hangover. Well, you make mistakes quickly then. Oh, that's really interesting. Anyway, that's how I got to Rome. Don't want to complain. Had an interesting time at the Gladiator School. Well, you know, you're like a star, and the fans recognize you wherever you go. Constant press, autographs, and wild groupies in the bathroom of dive bars. The Emperor at the time, Caesar, was a good buddy of mine. There were lots of orgies. Wine and grapes in those days, you know. Ben-Hur must have been conceived around this time. I see. Can't really say he was a father's dream. No, not really. Constant stress, lots of drugs. And he always wanted me to give him money, you know. Yeah, man. And then there was this terrible misfortune with Caesar and his berserk brother. Hell. They were all out of their minds then. I broke out of the gladiator school and made myself a time machine <laughs> out of one of Caesar's crunchy cereal boxes. Something on the flux capacitor must have broken. Well, and that's how I landed here. Right smack in Combat L Wombat's house. Combat L Wombat? No, really? He sold me right away as a house and garden slave. 
to Kvon Dachem, and that one sold me as a garage and garden slave to Elten Mutschat. And since then, he's been wanting to sell me, but can't get rid of me. My, what an interesting life. Anyway, that's not even half as interesting as El Muchob's brother's life. El Muchob's brother? Yeah, he's deaf, you know. But he really dealt well with his life as a slave. He has an ex-wife and his little daughter. Kid, it even makes me get sappy. He takes care of her completely on his own. Man, she can't even talk yet. But she's already really helpful. There's a rumor going around that he has a new girlfriend and that she's really rich with a big house and a garden and everything. Even though El Muchob's brother is deaf. All right then, do you want to buy me now or what? I can read and write and swim. Good, good, I'll have a talk with the slave master. Good idea. That is, Fadis Akbar wanted to get on El Mochob's shoulders this time. Hang on a minute. The Pharaoh cut out Fadis Akbar's tongue, didn't he? Because he stole a banana. Yes, and that was the problem. Good day, sir. Could I interest you in a few luxuries? Items with style? The way you look, uh, probably not. Hey, have you ever heard the phrase, the customer's always right? Ever heard that store owners are only nice to customers who look like they can actually pay for something? I'm not interested in this junk. I'm looking for something special. Something special? You should go to my other store in the lower part of the bazaar. Baki commentated the game until the penalty. Don't take another step. Otherwise, you'll be trespassing on private property. And my partner and I, well, we'll have to dismember you for that offense. Sounds pretty severe, but we the Pharaoh's guards, who fear nothing and no one, know no mercy. I have to talk to the Pharaoh. It's seriously important. Yeah, right. It's always urgently important. That's what they all say. If you can't come up with anything better, then you'd better just be on your way. We the Pharaoh Sentinels, who fear nothing and no one, know no mercy. And if I say we're fearless, I mean it. Fearless as a... as a rock. Uh-huh, so you guys aren't afraid of anything. Afraid? Us? Don't make me laugh. There's nothing, I mean nothing, that could scare us. Not even rabid monkeys? Nope, not afraid of them. Not even phantom cockroaches? Not even our little sisters would be afraid of those creatures. Not even poisonous jellyfish? I once had a cousin who knew somebody who was said to be afraid of them, but I think even that was just a rumor. Not even slime eagles? Child's play. Like I said, we're fearless peacekeepers. Any more questions? Okay, I guess I don't need to ask about crocodiles then. Ugh! Crocodiles! Oh no. You just reminded me of this terrible slaughter down there by the harbor when the river pirates attacked and there was this croc godile it bit all these arms off ever since then we do our work up here 
far away from the croc... All right, I don't want to hear anything more about these devil lizards. Got it? I don't even want to think about it. Okay, whatever. I think it would be better if you just left. We feel as sentinels need to meditate a little and just shut up about this slimy green uh, thing. Then they put his chains back on. You say penalty? What penalty? Hello, sir. You're in the right place if you have uh, something particular in mind. Leather clothes? No, occult items. Artifacts used for contacting the gods. I just noticed... Wait. Is that an ankh you're wearing around your neck? Could it possibly be the ankh? Um, I thought it was a bottle opener, actually. A bottle opener? Uh, yeah. <laughs> of course. For a second there, I thought it was... Oh, never mind. I'd pay you for that bottle opener. Sorry, it's not for sale. As you like. I'll get it one way or another. Uh, I mean, I'll get out one thing or another that I think you might like. Maybe we can do business later. I know every nook and cranny of this city. I'll definitely be of use to you. I think there was a fish cake inside. Hey, hands off, you boar! Can I help you? I have to have one of these fish sandwiches. Hold on a minute. That'll be two silver pieces. You got that much on you? Can I pay you later? No, but you can pay with your Cairo card. Oh, damn. Somebody must have stolen it. Well, I can't help you there. Did you touch anything there?
a glorious achievement of our great civilization. It's too slippery. I can't grab it like this. That's not quite my style. Gotcha. If someone is supposed to eat this one, it better be wrapped up well. Yummy. Fish. Here's your payment. Lunch time, Black Eye. Oh, the aftertaste is a bit strange. Mmm. I feel so... Oh, queer. I think I've got to go somewhere. Quickly. I'll come with you. I could need something to wipe my... Um, It says, I solve problems. Wait, don't say anything. You're like an open book. You're uh, from the uh, IRS and want to collect my last dime. Excuse me, I have a ferry to catch. No, wait, it's all becoming clear. You, you uh, want to sell me a subscription for a tattoo magazine. Wrong again. You, uh, collect donations for Alcoholics Anonymous. Your premonitions are lousy. All right, I admit it. I used to be a much better clairvoyant. That's why I became a personal and uh, business advisor. How nice. You don't have to know much to do that, and you still get paid. I'm having a little problem with the death curse. Oh, no. You don't have a problem yet. Come back when you really have a problem. The scissors are sharp now. And? Are my scissors sharp again? Sharp as a razor blade. Wonderful. As a token of my appreciation, I'm going to give you my prettiest needle. It's really pretty, but it might be cursed, too. Cursed? What do you mean, cursed? A river pirate gave it to me as payment for a new pirate flag. Shortly after that, 
His ship capsized in the harbor, and after that, there was a big battle with the harbor guards. There was also a crocodile involved, and the guards got the scare of their life. As you can see, they wouldn't be wise to trust that needle. Also, it sometimes moves by itself, as if by magic. But it really is pretty. That's why I'm giving it to you, lovely maiden. Uh, thanks. Just what I always wanted. A needle with a curse on it. Have fun with that, my dearest. Ah, that penalty was unwarranted. No, it wasn't. Quiet, slave. Hmm. Hey kid, everything okay? Nice heat my ride, don't you think? Yeah, a real dreamboat kid. <laughs> What'd you need? Doesn't anyone speak proper Egyptian anymore? Damn kid, there ain't no such thing as proper Egyptian anymore. Anyway, there's nothing that could be called proper in Cairo. Kid, the streets rule in this city. How about you take me across the Nile? Hey, wherever you wanna go kid, just where do you want to go? No idea. Make a suggestion. Hey, I'm not going anywhere unless you tell me where to. The Nile's a hard stretch, you know what I mean? My boys got caught in a dive by shooting, comprende muchacho? Come back when you know what you want to see. Well, do you know where to go now? Do you know where I could find crocodiles? Crocodiles? Ha, <laughs> kid! The whole Nile is full of crocodiles. But I can bring you to a really extraordinary bay where the crocodiles will dance the samba for you the whole night through. You catch my drift, kid? Yeah, that's where I want to go. A silver coin, and that will be off like a rocket. One silver coin, and we're off? No problem. Kid, I knew you were all right. Then hand it over. And we're off like a rocket. I beg your pardon? What do you mean by duty-free shopping? A beautiful crystal jar for just eight silver coins. Looks splendid on every window pane. Listen, I don't want to buy any stupid jars. I'm looking for crocodiles. And I'm totally broke anyway. Broke? Well, how'd you want to pay for the second part of the trip then? What? You said you bring me to the crocodiles for one silver coin. No, I said one silver piece and off we go. Listen, I told you that was my one and only silver coin. Come on, I know that you got some more. Hey, hands off. Hey! Ah! Oops. I can't swim! I'm sinking! I've got to get rid of that bowl! Hang on, what am I doing? I should keep this on for a while. Really decayed, I don't want it. I can't move it. It's locked. I need a key.
painted pirate style. Even now, he's attending to his duty. It's really decayed. I don't want it. It's really decayed. I don't want it. They are too heavy. It's locked. I need a key. Wow! Lots of pirate stuff! I don't think that'll work out. That doesn't seem to work. That doesn't seem to work. The compass is working again. This will, this will show me the way. This will show me the way. A solid metal bar. get past that beast to leave this place.
rock's teeth. Well, that's a start. I gotta get out of here. That was enough water for the next couple of years. Man, 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 you look kind of familiar to me. I got it. You're that crazy croc tourist that jumped out of my boat. What? Jumped? You threw me overboard. Kid, I'd never throw a paying customer out of my boat. You mean I didn't pay? Come on. It's not fight about who could have thrown who out of the boat, and who might have not paid who. It's really not that important. So what can I do for you now, kid? Well, you know I don't have money for the trip back. Too bad. But like I said, there ain't no crossing for free, kid. this compass. Olga's Fish Burgers, the place to be in Cairo. friends, we're lost. That's your fault, Russell Barr. Exactly. Your fault. Shut up, Rasselton. Ah, about damn time some personnel showed up around here. I'll take the Camel Wash Deluxe with Underbody Cleaner. Here, service boy, take this snap for the camel. I'm not the service station boy. Nah, don't want to hear no more. Get going. Red Sea Aquarium said something about the North. But Red Sea Aquarium took off. Exactly. Where did Red Sea Aquarium, our fearless leader, go? He went to ask for directions. 
And why did he need to take all of our money with him? Sounds good, but the camel's not here yet. Maybe to give someone a tip? Uh, like when we gave the merchant by the Sphinx a tip? And where did he lead us to? An abandoned camel station? On a building site? And we ask for directions to Cairo. Maybe this is Cairo. Shut up, Russelton. Hey, could be. Good work, boy. Our leader disappeared with a cash, you know. So, take this bottle of wine as a reward. Oh. All right. If I see that souvenir seller again, I'm gonna give it to him. You shouldn't have trusted him. If only Red Sea Aquarium would come back. He's had more than enough time to ask for directions. We can make it without him. But we don't know which city to go to after we get to Cairo. Wasn't it Luxor? Or was it Farafra? Or was it Asiut? Or was it Kamumbo? As good as new. Or was it Abu Mina? Or was it Al Arish? Or was it Alexandria? That doesn't seem to work. Or was it Rome? In any case, friends, we're lost. That's your fault, Russell Barr. Exactly. Your fault. Shut up, Rattletin. Seal. This is the first time I've seen a Fata Morgana. A Fata Morgana is a phantom image appearing in deserts. I'll prove it by throwing this thing right through it. Ouch! Wow! I think I'll have to learn some more about Fata Morganas. I shouldn't go any further without a destination. That can end deadly in the desert.
Man, man, man. You look kind of familiar to me. I got it. You're that crazy croc tourist that jumped out of my boat. Is your boat really the only way back? Yep. I have something here that might interest you. Right place at the right time. No one will bother us here, so unpack that stuff. Hey, hopefully it's not cheap stuff from Nigeria. A pirate flag! How cool is that? Really horrible and forbidden. Nice piece. The boy's gonna call me the king of the night. Hey, I never would have expected that from you, kid. Uh, I mean, man, now the chick's gonna go crazy for my pimped out ride. That'll get you a few free crossings, man. That's a pretty small boat. Hey, man, nice to see you. Should we take off for Cairo? Of course. Okay, let's get going. Oh, I wasn't expecting that from you. That's really very pretty. I think it's really valuable. Here, take the map. Man, nice to see you. Should I row you over to Crocodile Bay again? Let's go. Great! I think I've seen this place on the map. Could it be that this is it? The treasure of the desert?
There, a stranger. Hey, stranger. Have a seat. Hang out with us for a while. Hmm, well, why not? Nice. So what are you guys doing here? We're, uh... Well, we're... Carpet weavers. Yeah, that's it. We're carpet weavers. You kind of hesitated a bit with that carpet weaving stuff. Well, we just hit the market, so to say. We just got out of the weaving academy. So what exactly do you weave? Um, well, <laughs> this and that. Everything and anything that can be woven. Where are your balls of string, then? String? Uh, yeah. We've woven so much that we have to wait for new supplies. Could you guys weave something for me? For you? Uh, what do you want to have woven? A crocodile costume. Crocodile costume? How's that gonna work? Is that really what weavers do? Oh, well, we'll manage somehow. Why do you need that? I have to get by these stupid crocophobic palace guards so I can break into the palace. Force your way into the palace. Great! Okay, that does it, guys. Who are you really? Okay, fine. You had found out sooner or later anyway. Well, we're the Israelites and we're waiting for the Exodus to leave Egypt. That's why we don't like the Pharaoh very much. That's why we're out here and not in Cairo. The Israelites? I always thought there were more than three of them. Well, we're not exactly sure how many there are. We haven't exactly taken a census of population. But you're probably right. There's definitely more. Anyway, whether you're an Israelite or not, it's just a matter of attitude. And now that we know that you have a problem with the Pharaoh too, we're going to do our best to make you a crocodile costume. But you'll need to bring us a few things for it. That's a pretty small boat. Hey man, nice to see you. Should we take off for Cairo? Of course. Okay, let's get going. Empty shelves? Either this shop is running extremely well, or extremely bad. Thanks a bunch for the wonderfully sharp scissors, pretty girl. Do you sell leather goods? Leather? My crocodile handbags are all sold out. I sold the last one to an older gentleman, who stops by for some shopping occasionally. Last crocodile handbag sold. The tailor's cloth. Not too sophisticated. Hello, young man. Have we met before? May I help you across the street? But I don't want to cross the street at all. I'm just doing some shopping. Hello, 
Well, young man, have we met before? I'm your long-lost heir. Guy Albrusha? But he went to sea and never came back. And none of my family would wear a bottle opener as a necklace. Hey, you oaf! Hands off my purse! Excuse me, but I need it! Nasty little street robber! I'm gonna tan your hide! You're carrying a full La Croxed crocodile bag. What? But I was told it was an original from Luxor. The people in Luxor are cheats and liars. Everybody knows that. Yikes. You mean I got duped? I wouldn't doubt it. So what now? I'll just take this fake off you, and then it'll all be taken care of. Well then, I've come out of this unscathed. Here, just take the purse. Man, nice to see you. Should I row you over to Crocodile Bay again? Let's go. Great! It's coming along. We'll need teeth to make that kind of costume. Something to make a head out of. And of course, it should have skin, like a crocodile's. It's coming along. We'll need teeth to make that kind of costume. Something to make a head out of. And of course, it should have skin, like a crocodile's. So, the crocodile costume is done. I had no idea what we were capable of.
Another place, another place that I will never fall in love with. I never want to go back in there. Hey man, nice to see you. Should we take off for Cairo? Of course. Okay, let's get going. Why not? According to Bucky's description, Moses made him fall. Well, I shouldn't put it on right in front of them, should I? Oh no! A crocodile! Ah! Thank you.